हैं Nintendo said that they could do that without the glasses. In one polarizing film later, they turned the DS into the 3DS. While the gimmick didn't really take off, the hardware was pretty solid and came to be a favorite among gamers and modders. Hi, Pedro here, and today I got another USB-C mod for you. I uh, don't think you'll guess which one it is. This little guy for the 3DS will take over the old charging port. Before we get started, we need to make sure that we get 5 volts out. If you want to pick up one of these guys, head over to my shop at RenewedGamingRelics.com. Very good! Now we can get started. Let's begin the teardown by taking out the battery. Separate the bottom plate, lift from front to back, and detach the ribbon cables for the shoulder buttons. Next is disconnecting the ribbon cables, unscrewing more screws, removing the Wi-Fi module, taking out the joystick, and desoldering the SD card slot. So let's get to it. Take your time when desoldering the SD card slot. As you lift the motherboard, know that there is a little adhesive on the power port. So lift with a little pressure there as you lift the board and get rid of it once you've freed it. With the motherboard free, we can begin the real work.
Now desolder the old power port, clean up, and get the mod in place. Nothing like my trusty hot air station to make the lift easy as pie. These pads are looking excellent. For the alignment, we want the resistors on the bottom of the mod to be centered with the notch, and the edges of the mod and the motherboard to be flush. Secure it down when you're happy with it, solder it in place, and clean up. We have a little room here for our future vision to get another castellated edge for a stronger foothold. Nice and flush. So let's get back to partial reassembly. Let's take a look at these stills for a minute before we do any shell trimming. I'll show some of the trimming on a pink shell since the footage for the blue was lost. Trim the following edges along the markings, being careful not to trim into the square holes nor into the lettering. As you trim the bottom portion towards the lettering, make sure to make the rear portion flush with your work. Next is trimming flush these two bits. Then 
shave roughly half of this wall. This guy will need these sections trimmed flush, and then this portion cut off. Take your time doing this and do regular test fits as always. fit should be just right. And once you're happy with it, finish reassembling the 3DS. Moment of truth. The charge light is on. Good. And... I'm waiting, old man. It turns on and shows that it's charging. Excellent. With that, there's only a few left in the DS family to show off. So, till then, take care. Bye-bye.